Hey everybody, and welcome back. Today we're taking a look at SteamWorld Heist for the Nintendo Switch. This has been out on a couple different platforms already, but it just recently came out on the Switch. And this is my first time playing it. Um, I'm about two hours in or so, I think, so not not too far. This is uh, your little starting ship area. It looks like you're going to be recruiting characters kind of as you go. I started out with this main guy, me, with the sweet pirate hat on. Uh, and this is my buddy Seabrass over here. And then I just came across and recruited old Sally over here and she's been hanging out with me for a while um, and this is my my old boy Wonky he uh, takes us everywhere we need to go he doesn't even need legs to do it but uh, this is the same oh, story this is the same um, series of games as Steam World Dig I think I think it's the same world maybe in the future or something like that. Um, I played both of those and really loved both of them. The uh, second one is amazing. Um, so yeah, let's go. It's very different genres. This is like a tactical um, RPG kind of. Uh, we'll get into a battle in a minute and you can see for yourself what it's like. It's not really anything like the dig games at all. So... This is, uh, there's these little shops and towns kind of scattered around the, the atmosphere that you can stop at. So this one had a couple different things that you can buy. As you can see, I've already purchased two things from here, so they don't... Looks like those don't refill. These may or may not, since they're, like, weapon-type stuff. I bought, like, equipment upgrades, so I don't think those will come back, probably. And if you listen to the music for a second... You can tell it has full, or well, not full, but a bunch of songs have like lyrics and stuff. So that's pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into a battle. Um, I, like I said, just recently got that Sally girl, so I've it's kind of having some difficulty leveling her up because a lot of these um, maps. If you see this map, um, the little icons at the bottom says that I can bring two people to that and that seems to be a lot of these maps like there's a challenge map I can only bring two people I can bring three people here two three so I think these harder ones are where it'll start yeah there's just another two so maybe these harder ones let me bring more people so it has been a little difficult to level her up because I don't think she is starts out as powerful as the same level as my other two dudes had got but, um, let's just try... Let's go into fully loaded. So we get to choose our loadout. Um, we can choose the two characters that we want to bring. So you can kind of see everybody has, like, some kind of basic stats. So the plus sign is health, and then movement, um, damage, I think, and then... Or range damage is probably the third one with the crosshairs. And then the fourth one is um, melee damage, if you're close enough to hit them with a punch or something. So, yeah, I guess there's really not too many stats. Because you can see he's level 3, she's level 2, and level 0. But it doesn't really look like their stats are too crazy different. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But I'll, uh... I'll just start with these two. These are my two old reliable, old reliables. So he's main guy's got like a long range pistol kinda, and then a healing box, something that boosts his melee damage, and then the sweet buccaneer pirate hat. And then he's got like a machine gun that's pretty sweet. It shoots a lot. Um, healing grenade, which I haven't used yet. I think I just got that, and then. This sweet ball cap, just totally in universe. So let's go ahead and start this mission. Check it out. 
They're running in, getting ready. So now we gotta take turns. It is a turn-based tactical game. So you see the little orange light on the bottom will kind of show me how far I can go. Um, the orange means, as you see, there's orange and then blue, but there's still a line there. So orange means that's as far as I can go and still attack with a weapon, where the blue is I can still move, but I cannot attack if I move out that far. So I've got to keep that in mind while I'm playing. Uh, this little thing here in the middle is highlighted because that means I can cut, like uh, hide behind it for cover. So let's. Uh, it looks like I have two options. I can open this door to the right, and I can open this hatch to the top. So let's uh, let's try sneaking in the top. See where that gets us. So, uh oh, there's another buccaneer up here. So let's. Uh, Let's hide in the back right now, and then old sea bass. I don't. Know. Maybe he'll just hide down here. Maybe he can do a sneak, sneak attack or something. Um. So yeah, that's my turn. I forget how to. Oh yeah. So hold down, hold down the Y button, and I'll guard. So luckily he took his frustrations out on the, the can there. So I'm gonna run past him and then, oh no, dang it. Oh, I already forgot about the, the blues. So maybe all sea bass can get up here. Nope, he can't either. So he's gonna get up here and punch him in the back of the head. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, so you can see on the bottom right I have Three different actions I can do. Um, the first one's melee, so it says I'm gonna do three damage. I can use my repair box, which was in my inventory, but I can only use it once per battle. And then that grenade, which I believe I can only use once per battle again. So let's uh, let's punch. Him. Yeah, he's got one HP left. He's gonna hit me. And now uh, you see, 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 bass, see, brass got all pissed off when he got punched. That's one of his abilities. Is he he does not like taking damage and it makes him angry and makes him stronger so we got a room with three more dudes in it uh, this guy's conveniently hiding behind a flammable bearable barrel not a bearable uh, you can tell by the flamey explosion on the front so let's, uh, I'm gonna hide back here and uh, let's Punch this dude, punch his head off, knock his block off. So he punched him so hard his whole body fell apart. That guy has some rage issues against a barrel. And hide behind the flammable barrel. Don't oh! shot me in the head. So I wonder if I can shoot from here. The Yeah, so he the gun I'm using has that like uh, laser sight thing on it. So that will show me the direction that the bullet, this particular gun's bullets, will ricochet around the room. So you can kind of get get off some trick shots and stuff. I believe, I forget, maybe guns are different. I think this one maybe just stops when the first bullet goes somewhere. I don't think it will keep going. I forget. Um, let me go to Seabass. He has that sweet machine gun so I wonder maybe I can just shoot from here and see see where these bullets feel like going I don't think hopefully there's not friendly fire I am grayed out so hopefully this won't shoot my head off ooh wasted all right um, so it's one down this is saying I will do between three and five. I have a 50% chance to do critical. Um, but I also have his ability is power shot. Cool down two turns, but it will give me an extra damage. So I know that my base damage is three. So three plus one, four. So that is a guaranteed kill on this guy. Let's go ahead and take him out. We'll let this guy shoot at the barrels again. And uh... Yeah, I'll just shoot him in the head. 
Critical. Almost like I planned it. So there's nobody else in this room, it appears like. So I'm gonna go up here and grab this treasure. Flame barrel treasure. Uh, so another door up here and one to the right. So you know, let's just keep let's just keep going up. Let's see how high up in this spacecraft we can get. Uh, so I'm a little worried to yeah, I'll just open it, see what happens, see what's in here. Uh oh. It's another guy. So he's gonna try to shoot me in the head, and he successfully does that. So since my damage is boosted, I wonder if I can wreck this guy. Let's see. Oh yeah, for sure. So I'm gonna run over there. Run away, get the get the gold. And go back and get the treasure chest and come back and hide. And I'll see brass over here. Will open the door for me. Uh-oh, more dudes. So as you can see, you, you keep unveiling stuff as you open doors. It looks like we're almost at the front of this ship. So there's three guys. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna hide over here for the time being. Let them come up here and chase me. I appreciate that the ladder right there is broken so they can't just run straight up here. Ooh. Take that barrel. Um, I don't think I can. Whoop. Can he aim? No. Sometimes you can shoot through specific paneling and stuff. So let's. I don't know. Well, my bullet thing's up, so let's go ahead and just go down here and. Take care of this guy. <laughs> Sorry, sir. That was probably unneeded. Let's get up here. Get some machine gunning on. As you can see, when this guy shoots, he kind of, I forget if he lifts his hand or drops his hand, so you kind of just have to, like, make a general, general spray and hope that it hits the right person. Ow. I do hope at some point there's some like counterattack moves or something like that. Cause it's kind of a kind of annoying to just sit there and get punched in the face and not do anything about it. Uh yeah, once you get your punch on. He is all about punching today. Uh, let's open this door. It looks like a real tiny room. Hopefully there's not anybody in here. Oh no, it's Moss... Mossby. Mosby. Hey fellas, it's me. Mosby. The moisture farmer. Boy, am I glad to see you. A gang of nasty triplets nabbed me from my farm and threw me in the scrap heap for transport. Been hanging here for so long I can't feel my legs no, no more. It'd be mighty decent if you could send me back to my farm. Eh... Alright. Whoa, I just evaporated him. Uh-oh. Pick it down. How'd these cowbots get on our board, cousin? Don't know. Let's show them where you end up if you board a scrapper ship. With our current haul, I don't know if we can fit them in. We can make a little more room in the hold and take them right to the junkyard. So that was telling me that is the end of the mission right there. So as long as I get my surviving characters into those one of those four spaces, then the, the match will end. Uh, hopefully I get there without either of these people dying, because in this game, if you die, then you don't get anything that that person um, gathered. So any of the experience doesn't uh, come over, and I don't think any of the treasure will come over either if that person gathered it which stinks all right so he just entered a room that we cannot see so I'm gonna guess that's what's down here um, but for now let's get the treasure and I guess just hide right there and he can go show where all those people are hiding 
And maybe I'll just... Oh, so those other people are there right next to the door. So I'm just gonna go over here and hang, and they can come on up to see me if they feel like it. I probably should heal before one of my people dies. Um, I don't know how hard these guys can hit. I wonder if I can... Dead. Okay. So he is... Dead? Um, well... Kind of scared to move. He better just stay here. He can guard. Let him come up here. Hopefully they don't do enough in one shot to kill me. We'll see. Oh, my hat fell off. Ow. Not cool. Um, that was very, very rude, sir. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go down here to get my hat. Hopefully I can heal. I don't think I can. I probably shouldn't have gone that far. Nope. Um... Welp. Dang it. What does this grenade do? Fire grenade that deals up to six damage inside an area. Friendly fire. So it will kill that guy. I don't think I can throw or shoot through these walls. So this is a tough situation. Actually, can I throw my grenade up? No, it hits the... There we go, so I can throw it down the ladder. I could try that, see where that gets me. So maybe I'll hide, throw the grenade. Hopefully it goes somewhere. Okay, kill the guy. Oh yeah. Okay, Whew. Hey, he shot through the floor. Not cool. So, there may be some more enemies in here, so I'm going to be careful. Um, dang. So I'm going to go here, and then heal. Ooh, four. That is not a lot. So maybe I'll move him back. And heal. Please nobody die. Oof. Safe. So I'm gonna move him. This is tough. Maybe just overhealed here to hang out. Um, still only got four health. Maybe we'll just hang out again. See what this guy does. Hopefully he can't get that far. Ooh, okay. We're good. Uh, let's go to my boy over here. Get him a little closer. He's very pissed off right now. I wish I could shoot. I'm very scared that this guy's gonna get lucky and hit me three times. I'll move him. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Please don't be able to shoot when you get up here. Oh no! What did I say? Yes, yeah, so this is a very... Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to kill him. This is probably going to kill me. Whoa. Uh, this is frustrating. You know what? I'm just going to sneak. Sneak back. I'm not even going to enter that middle room. So yeah, this is... This is a lot more difficult than... I don't know. I'm used to, or... The game's still early. I don't know. I feel like this is like the fifth stage. I probably shouldn't be having this much issues keeping people alive, but... Since I, each person only has like six health or whatever... And I can only heal once. It's a little... It's not frustrating, but... It just means I have to play stages a few different times. 
I definitely enjoy it. It's just I don't quite know. I haven't figured out yet what like the proper strategy is and stuff. So yeah, as you can see, my first guy didn't get anything. Um, maybe we did keep the treasure. I wasn't paying attention there. So I leveled up and I got a new ability. So let's check that out. Mend. Restores one HP. After every turn, he has taken damage. Can never restore all damage. Okay. So, as long as he's taken damage, he will always heal an HP. So, maybe that was the issue. Maybe each character has different um, healing abilities, maybe? So that one will definitely help. Because I could just keep running away and eventually heal. Heal a bunch. Um... Yeah, so I got these gems, which unlock stuff. My lone sea brass will sadly go back to the ship. <laughs> Poor old Mosby. Uh, ten of crops now without a leg to stand on. He's a farmer, he can take it. Mighty good of us to send him back home, though. Yeah. So that was. That was that. That was me playing poorly. Now, now! No need to ride the high steam horse. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what Mosby's up to. I hope I can check on him to see what he's doing in the future. Doesn't look like I opened a location. Mosby's location. Uh, so here's another, another town. Let's go check this out. Do you think it's a pretty cool effect that like the level loads in by slamming into your ship and it just like completely destroys your door? It's a nice touch. So here, uh, I bought two more inventory upgrades down here, I think, and there's two more weapons and some boots. So what? Gives me functional shoes, a fall or winter, essentially in any heister's wardrobe. Increased movement distance by one. Okay, so that's pretty, could be pretty handy. Uh, five damage. A potent handgun with a sturdy design just feels its weight in its hand, makes you feel more composed. Okay, so maybe health also wouldn't be an issue if I could kill stuff a lot faster. Like if I had the guaranteed damage, six damage, that's pretty nice. Short range spreader of projectile fun with multiple bites. This will surely leave teeth marks. So it costs 800 and 800. Um, I may buy this bad boy and equip it to my main guy. It looks like even though I don't have the sight anymore, just the fact that I can do a guaranteed five damage Seems like that would be a very big, very big help. I don't think I can do loadouts right now. Ooh, gold bars. Ought to yield a good day's pay when sold. Heck yeah, that's pretty nice. Can, I, can you buy my stuff? Somebody buy my stuff. Oh, here's another guy that I can recruit. I forgot about him. I gotta pay pay the hard water water tax to get him get him in on my team. Um these are just yeah, I can recruit him too, I think, but I last time I talked, I didn't have enough of requirements. Okay. So I needed more reputation, which I got. So now he's got 8 health. Heck yeah. 6 damage or 6 movement, 3 damage. A circus strongman needs to project Strength. So once rumors about the great Ivinsky, Ivansky's soft spot spread, harsh words made him leave the big top. Knows how to take a punch. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's what I need. So let's go ahead and hire him. I don't think there's any loss for hiring, hiring people. Uh, wonderful. We will have a great adventures. Yeah, we will. What do you do? Buy my stuff. There's a cool room up here. Well, I'm sure at some point somebody will want to buy my my gold treasure bars. Please. I 
thought you would, but maybe I didn't know you as well as I thought I did. All right, so there's my new my new buddy hanging out on my ship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's just kind of a you know general general look at. Steamworld heist here that seems for the most part it looks like I've done maybe like eight or so stages and I've played a few of these multiple times because like I said that third person I got was just seemed super weak so she kept dying so I kept trying to do uh, and when people die like you can see here uh, only two stars and like that one I just did I only got two stars out of three so one of the requirements for most of these stages seems to be keep people alive which I am obviously not very good at, so I need to practice with that. But yeah, I've been doing a couple of these multiple times, so I've probably played like 15 or 16 stages so far, and I'm still having a, a ton of fun with it. I just still need to um, wrap my brain around some of the tactics, because like I thought or hoped that you know running away some would keep me alive longer, but that didn't really seem to to matter too much because people can move or the enemies can move just as far as I can it seems so it may be worth it more to just go all out offensive and instead of running away but yeah so that was um, Steamworld Heist uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed it if you want to see more of this you know just let me know in the comments I'll definitely uh, open to playing more of this because I'll for sure at least be playing more uh, by myself, not, not recording. So yeah, hopefully you all have a great day, and I will check you all next time. Bye! Bye.